Welcome, everybody. It's a lovely day. You wouldn't believe it's the day before Christmas Eve, would you? Fantastic day. Oh, the colour. So, yeah. Um, I thought it was been a bit of a gap, but life's been a bit hectic. Um, I had a lot of job offers come in. Um, some very serious ones. I hinted at one, the last one, that was basically from a very large um, effects house. One of the two biggest in the world. Um, from the southern hemisphere. That's what I'm going to say, but it was basically down to the fact that um, the car drag, you know, the family, what them would be two kids under the age of four uh, on a long flight and move to this side of the world. Which is I would have loved to. Um, I've had lots of other job offers. Um, also, there was a local um, games firm around here uh, that's asked me if I'd like to work there. So I'm on, at the moment, until I make a decision, uh, I'm on doing some freelance uh, work to basically, um, they went to some outsourcing in India and basically what they got back was a pile of shit. Right? That's the bottom line. And they needed bailing out. So that's what I'm on doing at the moment. I um, spent a lot of long hours working all the way through Christmas. I worked about eight hours last night. Of course, the day, like, days are now taken up with opening up like, things for Christmas. Um, so it's it's hectic. Um, there's a good there's a good chance I'll end up working there full time. Um, I can't tell you anything else. Right. I'm trying to sweep shirtless in the wind here because otherwise you're going to hear. It. <laughs> I know it's annoying because um, I always listen back to these things before I post them, right? But yeah, um, I might be working there full time. So, um, I can't go into a lot of details about that unfortunately, but it's very exciting. Let's just say it's it's you know good stuff, right? Uh, I've seen the game that they're working on. Um, it's nice. Think of it as GTA meets Easy Rider with a little bit of Vietnam thrown in. I know that's really cryptic, but you'll have to stay like that. Um, there was a teaser trailer online, but I'm not going to tell you what it's called because the teaser trailer, with the best will in the world, looked bad because the models that we used were from these freelance guys in India. Um, no reflection on them from India, it's just the fact that they were bad. Period, right? But uh, at the beginning of a cold, you see, Christmas, I always have a cold Christmas. Um, so, the uh, ground up series has grown to a halt until after the new year because they're still holding now. Um, also, if you wonder why, there was none on, there was loads of videos going on in the area, right? This comes down to the simple fact that for the past two months, two or three months, right, I've been hogging all the bandwidth on the area. My videos were virtually, you know, everything, 70% of them were mine. So, people don't stop at submitting videos. Um, I'll wipe my bloody nose here, last thing it was a bogey. But, um... Not many people seem to wipe my nose with a cigarette in the mouth, do you? Anyway, as I was saying... <laughs> there's, um... There's still videos there that need to be submitted and put up, right? So they decided to play a bit of catch-up. That's why there's about <laughs> 20 odd videos went up in the space of three days. Um, I'm not sure if they call it or not, but... We've got to get some ground-up ones out in the new year. Quick start, while well, I was sort of ground to a halt. Looking back on my feet with the PC. Sort of there at the moment, I've got a, um, a very large coolant fan, the CPU fan, to put in when I get back to D. And I mean it's big, right? This thing is, it's like, you know, the height of a Coke can and the width of two Coke cans. It is fucking big. Um, because the CPU wasn't getting cooled enough either, it shagged the fan and I had that, that surge. Um, so it was running at like 99 degrees Celsius all the time. Which, as any of you know anything about PCs, knows that's a bad idea because it fries your process really not careful. Let's go to stand next to the nuclear bomber. Okay. Um, so, there was, um, you know, I've, it's been running hot. And what I didn't realise is when it runs that hot, it uses massive amounts of electricity. Um, so, that's the reason why I had to sort that out. I got it this morning. Right, I'm just going to pause this because this has just went out. Right. A bit better, yeah. So, um, it's it's at the time, Chris, wasn't it? We just got sorted, um, the food stuff yesterday. Um, we had to leave it a bit later because basically, funds ran out, right? There was no money, so I had to wait till the money sort of came through to do a load of stuff. So, that's what I basically did. Um, 
We'll leave vegetables and stuff till tomorrow. So that'll be fun. Christmas Eve. Whoa! We're gonna do a little night shopping in the metro centre of Gateshead. Um, which is uh, fun. But I'm just glad, to be honest, I've some mixed on the screws, but I just want fucking Christmas over with. It's cost me a fortune this year that I really couldn't afford. And then on top of that, it's just. It's been that busy. You know, I haven't had time to think. Um, I've had um, SIGGRAPH next year, semi-confirmed. Now you see, there's um, three of the five options that they can't choose from. They're basically what they've said is, look, each one of them, it, it, you know, it's, it's like a brilliant idea for a masterclass, but we can't choose, so we're going to let you do it. So I'm going to have a little word with Dave tonight or something over Christmas, and we'll come with a conclusion, because it'll be announced probably in the new year, something in January or February or something. Um, for later in the year once that's been announced then after that we'll start showing people what is actually going to be made in the course of this one and a half hour masterclass um, so it'll be special to tell you that book book's on hold for Christmas I'll start that fucking in the new year I've got a feeling it's going to uh, overrun because I should have had a load done now but when I was taken offline offline that really hammered me because I lost the book not once but twice and starting at the third time I thought well I need a gap because if I start this again a third time I'm going to grow to hate it because it's not fun writing the same words three times especially not when you look at something that length so uh, we'll see you know what I mean let's see what time it is god I've got ages yet yeah. blow my nose again or at least wipe it oh god alrighty I really do hate changes in the weather. Please hell with me that it does. My asthma's pretty bad as well. Oh, the life crap from the overhead power cables. See, I've been under a lot of stress lately. I'm getting really stressed. Kane is now at the age, because he's three and a half, right? He understands all about Christmas, he knows what to expect. So he's been running around hyper, alright, with excitement for the past week and a half. He won't leave our side, not for one nanosecond. So we're not getting any downtime. So, my wife and me, we just, you know, you start biting and snapping at each other. You get more and more stressed. On top of this, I'm trying to fit working. So, this is the only piece of quiet I've had for, what, a week and a half, two weeks. This is the last one of these. And, like, why do I come out here? Well, listen. When was the last time you heard silence like that? noise is a very vague dog barking over that house up there and that's it <coughs> so um what will happen if I do take a full time job well <laughs> does that mean the quick start is going to stop the ground up will stop well it bollocks just means then I've got more time to do it on the night I don't have to like run around doing other stuff that'll be great um, Digital Tunes released the, the Mudbox 2009 DVD. Uh, I'm also going to market to try to like, make it sound a bit like the quick start one. Oh, and we were close to Dave Cardinal. Bollocks, right? What they mean was, they were on the beta, right? One of their guys. He made two posts, right? Both of which were bugs, not one saying anything about the programme. Now, that's not a, to bring down that, that disc, because, to be honest, it's it's welcome. Um, and it'll, it helps to raise the profile of Mudbox, blah, 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 you know. Um, I don't have a problem with the DVD at all. Uh, I just thought it was a bit cheeky trying to align the market in a similar way to, you know, what is truthfully the case with the ground up and quick start series that I've been doing for nothing. But uh, that's all at the time. We might talk about that a bit in part two. Right, I'll talk about it in part two, okay?